Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. Hello. Um, I've got gluey fingers. So today um, I'm going to make a start on uh, another lap book and I'm going to be using the collaboration kit, the new one from myself and Nanine at Collage Type. I have done a full flip through of this kit and it is in uh, the playlist called Gentle Men. So if you want to see uh, the whole kit, it's on there. Um, this time I'm going to just use one book and the beginning of of this I've um I got it from uh Dana um and I will leave the link for her video in the description um and I really liked the look of it so I'm gonna do it in well I'm thinking half hour segments so it's not too too intense um <coughs> to to follow along with uh, the first one I might do it about four to five minutes. Just we'll see we'll see where it, we're at. So I've got a book. It's uh, the Country Diary. You can use obviously any uh, size book. I chose this book because it's near enough uh, the same height as uh, my envelopes. If you'd got uh, a smaller book you could obviously cut your envelope down and then stick it uh, back up mine's just a little bit bigger so I shall do it that um, the book comes over uh, slightly which won't be won't be a problem so I've taken uh, all the all the pages out and I need to uh, get the get the covers off so I don't know if this ruler will come in handy or not. We shall see. So. Okay. so that's that one I've done it like that so I've got a straighter um, edge I thought if I do it you know like that um, I probably wouldn't end up with a very straight edge so I thought I'll follow follow the ruler and then it saves that cleaning cleaning up after so I'm just trying to get my ruler right here where where that card um, ends okay we've gone through nearly need to actually change change the blade it doesn't take a lot for it to be um, blunt okay so that's that side and I should imagine they're the same uh, size so that's uh, that and then I've got myself a couple of nice pieces of brown which I shall save um, and I will save the spine just in case I want it for uh, something I'm not sure as yet would probably help if I've got my mat <laughs> the right way so I'm just going to line this up so I know where you can see uh, camera wise so this is what what we've got um, and these are going to go onto uh, these envelopes like I've got to think how, how it goes now okay so it goes that way yeah I think <laughs> 
Right, so we've, we've got those. Next, we're going to do uh, some scoring. So, get this board out. And I've got the end here. So, I'm going to butt that up against there. And I'm going to score it at three quarters. Yep. quarters okay so that's that I shall just put the scoreboard down there on the floor because I think I think I need it again shortly um, so I'm going to glue this down i should have done that before i scored it just so uh you know because i could have ripped it or or what have you and it doesn't matter if the envelope closes up because we're not using um the inside of the envelope okay so that's that one <coughs> This is going to get covered over with paper. It's just just to keep it together so it doesn't, you know, rip rip anymore. Okay, so we've got we've got that. Then this flap is going to go inside of this flap, like so. And then that will give us a one and a half inch spine. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. Um, need to think what else I did. Okay. So before I do that, I'm going to get my book. And that would be where I positioned it. So the score line is just there okay so I'm gonna put my book just next to to it so there's just a tiny uh, gap and then that's the end of my book so I'm just going to go a little bit to the side okay yep and I think if I do yeah, I think I can do it the same. So, it's going to be... I can't see it, that's it. It's going to be there. Okay, so that's where you'd place your cover. And on the back it would be uh, there you would have your spine I've just folded that down for now so it would be like so okay it'll it'll all come <laughs> come together right so I need my scoreboard again and so that's my mark I think I'm going to go just at the side of it. Like so. Let's um, do this one. Okay, so, was that the same? Yeah, 
So I'm not giving yet any particular measurements because what you're using uh, might be totally uh, different. And then these um, three quarter of an inch spines are going here. So I want my next score to be there. And well, let's do that and I'll just do the same same number. So oh, I'll go to the, the next one, I think. Okay, and then that can fit fit inside of there. So what was that? Three and a half. And uh, this one. That can't be right, can it? Okay, so that's the score line there. So let's get those folded. Like so. That would be the front so you would open it and you'd have this bit now you might have a longer envelope so this might be uh, longer mine only comes to this so I'm going to be extending um, this later on so yeah that's fine and let's do the creases and this one. Okay. Okay. That would be my. Hey, this is. Yeah, it should be. Um, so that's my back. Okay. So I don't think I need a scoreboard again for a while. So let's get these uh, joined together. both of the creases of the envelope uh, meet so that's I'm gonna do it with the clout so it slips um, I don't want to you know push it in with the uh, art glitter glue and then not be able to to move it okay that should be plenty So I've opened that side lock and I can see that that crease is there. So that's lovely. Okay. 
okay and then I'm going to stick this down I might have to rescore it wait for that to to glue first so I'll show rescore um that and I think I might add um my envelopes on so I want it that it just comes before um there so if I stuck the whole thing on there, that would be that would be okay, wouldn't it? Would don't have to use envelopes. Uh, you could just use a piece of card. Um, I'm going to use the envelope because I'm going to cut that bit. So we've just got a long thin um, pocket. Okay, so I'm going to just measure that against there and uh, scissors. So I'm going to cut down like so, down like so, and just cut across there. I'll do that now so. So I don't forget that, that that's what I've got planned, <laughs> otherwise I could forget. So we've got that, okay. So I'm going to stick that to there and here. I am just going to stick it. So when you turn it over, that's going to be a pocket. So I think the best way to do that would be to put the glue on on this. and then attach that to there so I'm just sliding it so it's <coughs> right on um, that crease my envelope is a little bit smaller so I'm going to push that down to the bottom Okay, so then that will be uh, a pocket once it's, I think because it's smaller, I'm going to have to put some more glue here, let's put it at the end, here, okay, so that's that side. Can we band this yet? Okay. So there's our spine part. And there's that part. Okay. So we'll do uh, the same on this side so you could attach you know any size envelope you wanted you could you know attach some smaller ones and, and build build them up but I'm doing it as like this is an extra page kind of uh, thing 
so that's gonna go there so again I want a pocket so just cut diagonal like so doesn't really need to because again it's been covered with with page paper okay and that's gonna get stuck there so again I will I'll do that a bit lower down this time so. yeah. Crikey, that was a squeaky, squeaky noise, and that one will pop there again. Pull it down to to the bottom. Make sure that it's not, you know, coming over. And then that's that's that bit. Okay. Okay. So what what now? Um I think I might put um the spines in yeah i'll do that um so i've cut that um the same the same size i've just used some um gray board so cereal packet would would be fine i'm just gonna pop some under there just so it's not wafting about Okay, just fold in, fold in that round, and that should be fine. Okay, so that's that one. And I'm going to turn it over <coughs> and put one on the outside as well, just to give it some, you know, extra uh, stability because it, it's not very um, thick. If yours is thicker, perhaps you'll only need uh, one, but it helps it with its with its shape, you know, staying staying in form. it's the same because obviously this um is lining lining up okay so that's like those two in um and then i've got a small one for that and a small one for there and one for the other side um as well so do that then in between part one and part two, I will go around the whole thing um, and ink um, all across the top, all across the bottom, all across the, the folds, 
um, around the envelope so everything's inked and I will do that with walnut stain okay You can't see your creases very well you know you could go go down and with a pencil and then you can can see them some people would ink it all first and then uh, do that I would if I was off screen um, <coughs> but you know it will take a while to, to ink around everything so I'm thinking if I get these in now and then I can ink off off screen Flip it over and do do the same again. And then I'll cut cut the excess bits off. Yep. And I will leave this to, to dry a while before I start um, inking round it and making sure, you know, the creases are, are okay. So, that's that one. <coughs> To, to cover them even though they're a lot thinner so I don't know what that's about um, yeah I don't know where that other one's uh, got me. it's probably <clears throat> on the floor somewhere so I will cut another um, one of one of those so that should oh it's here <laughs> that should be fine let's do do this one then So I've got uh, a file folder which I've um, cut in half and I'm going to have some kind of um, pocket. This is going to be, you know, something that, that flips, flips out. So that's going to kind of go to there, or I could have it to there, 
not no one be quiet do you pocket i think i'm gonna cut those um those bits off and that'll make it a bit um a bit shorter anyway that's that and that's that again it doesn't have to be a file folder you could use some card do it with scrapbook paper so that's going to be a pocket to there so I want to score it uh, down down there so let me cut these off And this one will be the opposite way. Yeah, okay. So that one wants scoring there and that one there. Okay, so I shall do that. I think I'm going to get them the same size first. longer than the other so I'll just get my big trimmer and I think I'm going to cut um, all this off so where the um, score lines are I think this is too big for um, this so let me score it uh, first okay so this one I'm scoring just there. If you've got the ones with the tabs, this one's through the middle one, you might want to do it. Uh, score it somewhere, somewhere else. So that score would be there. Okay. This one would be here. Okay. So I want the pocket <coughs> that way. Um, I don't want it that way so the stuff could you know totally fall out of the um, folio so that would be against there so if we fold that there and then I might do the next one there and how would oh yeah that that's just right actually Yeah, that's just right. So I've done it into into thirds. Okay, I'll do the other one. Um, same ish. So obviously they're not they're not exact. Okay, that doesn't really look straight, uh, <clears throat> but I can. Can straighten them up um, off camera. <clears throat> so I'm gonna cut that to that. Well, that makes a, a nicer size. And this one to here. Okay, let's just check the, the right height ish. Just wants a little bit more off. Okay. They're not exact, they're, you know. 
eyeball clothes. So let's have a look at this to see if we can get it straightened up a little bit. So that's there. I don't know why it's, it's not straight then. I think that line was just off, off a little bit. that little bit what's overlapping I might just cut cut that off just so it's it's nice and uh, flush I think obviously if your paper's out just a just a little bit it it throws it so yeah I think that just wants that bottom a uh, bit cutting so that's So that's that one all straightened up. Let's have a look at this one. both straightened up now um, so that one would go on there and that one would go on there so we'd have a pocket there okay I don't think I'm going to stick them on because I think it would be easier to um, put the papers on and then uh, stick it stick it on so once that's stuck down that will open like that and this side it will open like so so yeah I shall leave those uh, for now let's um, get these bottoms uh, trimmed trimmed off so and then like I say I shall give everything um, a good good ink Oh, that's tough. Okay, and that one. Okay, so hopefully it all um, <laughs> folds up nice, which I think it it will so that one's folded Fold that one sorry I'm half off screen off off on and that one and that one so yeah that's that's super so that's it so, so far so good start um so i'll be back uh tomorrow and like i say it will be all inked inked up in fact before i do go um i'm going to get the material uh stuck down so it can um stick properly without me uh, messing messing about with it so i shall just get the material 
Okay, so I'm going to use this uh, ticking for um, the cover of this one. Um, and I'm going to glue it so there's, I don't know, centimetre um, around that side and that side. And then I will probably cut it um, if I go up a bit more. And then all I would have to do is cut that side and that side. But obviously, I need to be, be on the other uh, side. So let's let's do that. I don't know if I'm still going to be able to see the stripe. I'm not, am I? So, oh, I'll just do it with a roller. Okay, so that's there. And I'm going to place that over the top so I'm going to um, spread glue stick all over it and then um, I'm going to just put fabric tack I think um, round round the edges so I think that's got a, a decent coat on Okay, or oh, shall I do it with, I'll do it with the art glitter. So I mean, it, it does stick well to fabric. It, it just takes, takes a little bit of time. And once I've cut the material out, if anything's sticking up, obviously I can, I can go, go back in. That was a really awkward angle. Okay, I think that'll be be okay. So I'm gonna put this up against um this. Let's bring it just a bit closer. So that's fine. And that will be fine. All I want is just enough um to you know glue it, glue it down with the you know with the least amount of cutting and uh waste so let me just check that that's pretty straight yeah that's not that's not bad at all okay so that's that side and i'll do the other one underneath so we'll want that and we'll want that so it's both got fine so let's do do the same so this book obviously doesn't doesn't need inking uh, around because it's going to be all covered all covered up Probably get away with using fabric tack on on the whole thing because it's quite thick, thick material. Um, I'm always a little bit cautious of it because um, you know, depending on the material, it can it can bleed through and and look a mess. And with the corners being uh, folded around it's um it's fine it's not gonna uh fall you know fall fall off okay let me just spin that around just check that that's yeah and that's fine so i'm gonna leave that um out on on my desk and yeah when you come back i'll have just cut around this bit we'll do the actual 
um, rest of the cover on screen and I'll have got all linked around. So thank you very much for joining me. I hope the camera angle is all right. I've tilted it slightly just so you can see a little bit more and I know you still can't see um, everything but um, if I'd have just done it um, a, a straight down um you'd have missed missed a lot more so thank you very much and um i shall see you tomorrow we're just going to be doing this on uh fridays and saturdays um for the next well till it's till it's finished um so if you're joining in you've got plenty plenty of time to um you know follow follow the steps and like i say i'll just do it in half hour uh, segments after after this one and we'll just potter potter along with it okay so that's it from me and i shall see you tomorrow bye for now